բաս շատ վատ է, այս գլուխ ենք տեսեն դեղ, սպամյություն ենք տեսեն դեղ, կորն ընդեղ, ծից կնդեղ, այդ շատ շատ վատ վատ վաներ ենք տեսեն։ Հայրենիքի ուժը զորեղ է, Հայրենիքի սերը հզոր է, դրա համար ինձ թվում � Nagorno-Karabakh was a vaguely familiar place, far away, a battleground that only occasionally gets coverage in the news. Throughout what was the Soviet Union, long-suppressed ethnic and political differences are bubbling to the surface. Here in Karabakh, they've erupted into open warfare. The body count is high, human rights abuses abound. This is the human tragedy part of the ethnic fault lines that are dividing so much of the world. Most of the people from Nagorno-Karabakh are Armenians. Ethnic Christian Armenians, about 180,000 of them, a people with a long history of seeking self-determination. The mainly Muslim nation of Azerbaijan surrounds Nagorno-Karabakh and claims it as its own territory. I entered from Armenia through the newly opened Lachin corridor to Nagorno-Karabakh. I came to Karabakh anxious to understand what's really going on. A blockade of Armenia and Karabakh by Azerbaijan began in 1990. Azerbaijan has literally shut off the lights and water in both Armenia and Karabakh, squeezing the power supply to only two hours a day, making life miserable. You think it's a violation of human rights? Oh, it's more than a violation of human rights. Uh, the human right is uh, maybe you don't have the right to speak, but here it's the ability to survive that's at stake. Not that long ago, this area was shaded by many trees. Today, the trees are gone, cut down for fuel. If you want gasoline, you have to hand crank for it because there's no power. Azerbaijan also began a military effort to drive native people in Karabakh out of their villages. In 1992, volunteer Karabakh armies began liberating their villages to reclaim their lost land. I spent a few days with the Karabakh military unit. I was surprised to discover that the commander was an American of Armenian descent. His Armenian name is Avo. No one has really done anything throughout history for us to reinstate a correct situation, a just and correct situation. And so the army people lost all, all interest, all, almost all interest in uh, international efforts, in what other people say about the conflict. And they, um, you know, we just know that we've got to do everything by ourselves. We've got to solve this problem by ourselves. That's all. I was struck by Avo's dedication to the cause. He comes off as a gentle Californian. Here, in Karabakh, he's a soldier. They burned most of the villages and everything, and we've had a hard time uh, getting back into these mountains, but we've done it. This region isn't a part of Azerbaijan. They can't. Uh, crush the Armenian people militarily. They've got to look for other solutions. The war is gruesome. 
This is a field hospital. Supplies are scarce, conditions are primitive. Just outside, the day's casualties were collected. At least 3,000 have died since the fighting here began five years ago. Karabakh is one of the worst hellholes in the world today, with some of the most tragic situations, and they need a great deal of help. Blockaded, bombarded, many other organizations who would be in areas like this can't get in because of the blockade, because Azerbaijan doesn't permit it. So we have a responsibility to be here to do what we can. Well, what can we do about it? How can we awaken the world to this forgotten war? I think you're doing what needs to be done, which is to tell the world, then I hope the world will see the justice of the cause of the people of Karabakh. What is going on here at the moment is ethnic cleansing, and I think that shouldn't be condoned by any member of the international community. American congressmen came here on a fact-finding mission. Obviously, the needs of uh, Armenians living in Nagorno-Karabakh have to be protected and they have to be secure. That's what this fight is about. Armenians are not going to give up the last little piece of this earth on which they have to maintain their national identity. I was most impressed by the testimonies of refugees the tens of thousands of Karabakh refugees that this war has created. These people have been dispossessed from their homeland, their property, their daily lives. Պատկերացրեք իմ փոքրիկները տեսել են թե ինչպես է թավալ գլոր լինում մարդու գլուխը, ինչպես է անդհամատված երեխան թպրտում և երեկ չորս ամիս նրանք նկուղից դուշ չեն եկել, որտև ահավոր էր, սովա ծարավ նրանք և կաղծ են տեսել և սարսապ են տեսել, ամեն ինչ են տեսել, սակայ մենք չենք պատկերացնում մի ոտ կանգամ հերու մնալ մեր քաղաքից։ Some of their villages have been continuously shelled. In many, villagers cling to their homes and their traditions. What keeps these people going is the unifying spirit of Armenian nationalism, their attachment to their land. Հաղթեն։ Ներիր ամենքին, ներիր ավենիչ, և գիր կտպացիր, ներող մոր նման սրտանց ունդունիր։ Մաչ ու որ այս ու հիր ես դպրեսինգ։ Բատ դեղ ուղ հոպ դու։ Թոստ ու պիս ու ինդիպենդենս։ Ես կենացի լինի։ It was hard to leave, so drawn I was to these people. Yes, I'm from Bostan. Bostan.
Good luck there. Ne sonra ne çöne vapşı. I hope you tell everyone about what's going on here and how ridiculous the situation is. How we could solve this problem without all this fighting, without all this bloodshed if if people would just accept reality. Tell everyone that. Anyway, anyway good luck. Bye. Aşk sabır. 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 Aşk